Hello, and welcome to the fifth of Making Music's virtual concert series. I'm Celeste Berteau, one of the board members of Making Music, and I'm very proud to be working alongside staff to support leisure time music groups here in the UK. We have a wonderful and varied selection of music coming up for you this evening, so I do hope you enjoy. In addition to being a member of the board, I also sing with one of Making Music members' choirs, Cadenza, here in Edinburgh. Or rather, I was planning on returning to Cadenza at the end of my maternity leave in the spring, but like all of us, my return has been somewhat delayed. These days, I'm singing to my son far more than I'm singing with virtual choirs, but I've been packing music in my days whenever I can to keep our spirits up during these trying times. Speaking of which, I must admit, I'm particularly looking forward to seeing Love Choir, a fellow Edinburgh group, performing one of my favorite pieces later on this evening. There's a live chat throughout the show, so if you are so inclined, you can join in. Just look for the chat box on the right side of your screen. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hi, my name's Juliet Pochin, and I'm the musical director of Brighton Festival Youth Choir. We were supposed to be performing this piece by Lem Sisse, Let There Be Peace, the world premiere in this year's Brighton Festival, which was supposed to be in May, but unfortunately obviously didn't happen. So we're delighted to have the opportunity to sing it for you now.
Hello, I'm Stephen from Love Music Community Choir. We're a 300 strong community singing project from Edinburgh in Scotland, usually rehearsing and singing and performing at the Usher Hall. Uh, this song's called How Can I Keep From Singing? It's a 19th century American Baptist hymn, almost a psalm in four parts, written by uh, Minister Robert Lowry and then with additional words by Doris Plan, uh, created in the 20th century. It was taken up by the iconic Pete Seeger in the 1950s and 60s and became one of his political anthems. Uh, we've been rehearsing it online and we've taken up the challenge of recording our own voices and we've been having fun, about 200 of us meeting every week and singing together still and staying connected and this song just seemed to represent both the challenges but the need and the necessity for us to stay together and stay connected and keep our voices connected in these challenging times. So this is How Can I Keep From Singing, all the way from Edinburgh, and I'm really proud of our singers for having a go at this at home and recording their voices and contributing to this performance of this song.
Hello everyone, my name's Chris Wyatt, Chair of the Redbridge Music Lounge. We're a unique registered music charity operating in and around the East London Borough of Redbridge for over 10 years. Our mission statement is make music, enjoy life. So we're a network with over 50 local musicians and groups spanning all the genres, age groups and cultures. The Redbridge Music Lounge supports and organises opportunities for people to play in a variety of situations in public performances in small venues, care homes, right through to larger halls and all day festivals and events. We also hold sessions in our own music centre which brings together other musicians who play and they share musical experiences, knowledge and expertise. Please visit our website rmluk.org for more details about what we do. I've chosen to represent us for the special Making Music Concerts, one of our recent collaboration group performances. It's our house band, the Travelling Tilburys, who we play a tribute to the famous Travelling Wilburys band. That's Bob Dylan, Roy Orbison, George Harrison, Tom Petty and Jeff Lynne. The song is Knocking on Heaven's Door. Enjoy.
Hi, I'm Chris Churchhouse, Musical Director of the BJ Big Band. We're based in North Wiltshire and have been together for just over 10 years. During lockdown, we still meet every week via Zoom. We socialise and we make plans. We're also undertaking some theory training as well as creating remote videos, like the one we're about to show you. Our video uses the song The Final Countdown, written by Joey Tempest and originally performed by the group Europe in 1986. The song is about a group of people who leave Earth in a spaceship headed for Venus because Earth has become uninhabitable. I hope you enjoy our video. Three, two, one, and lift off of Space Shuttle. Hello, my name is Deborah Miles Johnson and I am the musical director of Gloriana, a women's voice choir I formed about four years ago. In that time we've done many concerts and raised money for charity, in particular pancreatic cancer most recently. However, in the past two years we've been asked to perform in some interesting venues. We went to the Treasury for International Women's Day. We went to the Rothschilds building where we sang in their Sky Pavilion, which has amazing views of the whole of London. We also went to Southwark Cathedral for the Mayor of London's Christmas concert. We should also have been singing for a VE Day concert in St Albans Cathedral, but sadly that was cancelled. But we did make it into the recording studio, a church in London, where we recorded a lot of music, which is specially written for women's choirs. This is one piece, If Music Be, by Judith Bingham. It's a short, lively piece with two clarinets. Uh, it's great fun to sing. I hope you enjoy it.
sure, and it's got to be soon, and they've got to be larger than Thank you. 
Hello everyone, I'm Jane Smith, the director of Sing On Saturday. In the first week of lockdown, I decided to set up a new community choir run entirely online. Called Sing On Saturday, it was initially intended for the people in my small Buckinghamshire village, Sear Green, to keep spirits up in a very unsettling time. As the weeks have gone on, it's morphed into a singing group with members from all over the country and some internationally, as families have used it as a way to stay connected while singing together. Many of the members of my two community choirs, Village Voices and Sear Green Singers, have also joined. And now the regular singers range in age from four to their mid-80s. We rehearse for half an hour on a Saturday morning, learning new fun songs or singing some old standards, often involving some actions or dancing, and sometimes the children bring their instruments along too. In the third week of lockdown, I decided to write a song for Sing on Saturday to work towards, using lyrics written by another village resident, Fliss Coombs. The words expressed the feeling that was so strong in our community and shared across the country, that although we were separately in our own homes, we were also together. The video was released less than two months after the choir was started. It's very unlikely that the singers in Sing on Saturday will ever all meet together in real life, but making the video has given us a chance to imagine how it would be to perform as a choir, standing side by side. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, 
What an incredible range of music this evening. Thanks to all the talented groups who submitted their music. And thank you so much for sharing this time with us. Please remember to like the video, comment below, and subscribe. Also, feel free to share the link as the concerts will continue to stay up on this channel. The next concert will be in two weeks, so do join us or even submit your own recording to be featured. If you do want to submit, there are instructions on the website on how to do so. Thank you again and good night.